The medical world is watching a Madera man as he recovers from a breakthrough eye surgery. He's one of only a few hundred people across the country to have a tiny telescope implanted in his eye. In a story you will only see on Action News, anchor Margot Kim gained exclusive access to that technology and the surgery and how it can change the life of a person who's legally blind. Ed Thomason of Madera loves to spend time in his backyard oasis, but he can hardly see its beauty. I, I had perfect vision, and then all of a sudden, dang, I can't see that anymore, you know. And that's when they told me you've got macular degeneration. The age-related condition deteriorates the central part of the retina, which affects straight-ahead vision. This video example shows what a person with macular degeneration would see, a blank space or hole right in the center of their sight. Like right now, I can't see your face. I have, to, I have to look off to the side. Ed wasn't about to just let his eyesight go. At the age of 82, he's an avid runner, bicyclist, and reader. His doctors thought he'd be the ideal candidate for a first-of-its-kind miniature telescope implant, now available in Fresno. The implant maker, Centrosite, provided this animation of the tiny device, which is about the size of a pencil eraser. The wings on the side anchor it to the eye. And just like a telephoto camera lens, it magnifies the central image. Patients can look through a simulator telescope in their doctor's office to see how the implant would function in their eye. Ed says it was truly a case of seeing is believing. And he says, you look right in here, and I look in there, and I said, oh, my goodness. <laughs> I've been missing all this. And this is our first time treating someone uh, with this technology, and it's very exciting. Cataract and cornea specialist Dr. Mehdi Gajar at Eye Medical Center of Fresno said Ed is the first patient in the Central Valley to get the telescope implant and one of only a few hundred across the country. It's permanent in his eyes, so he can potentially read without any additional magnification. He can walk around and rec recognize faces without any handheld devices that he would have to bring it up and take it away. We were given exclusive access to Ed's surgery at the California Eye Institute at St. Agnes. Anesthesia is applied to his eyes, but he stays awake for the procedure. During our visit at his home before the surgery, he joked he'd end up with Superman-like vision. So I'm looking forward to it, really. I'll be able to see what's going on in Chowchilla and Merced and San Francisco. And <laughs> Back at the surgery center, in less than an hour, the implant is in. The eye with the implanted telescope will be used for central vision. The other eye, in Ed's case his left eye, will be used for peripheral vision. He'll undergo therapy to retrain his eyes to work together. Not only is the surgery life-changing for Ed, but it's seen as a breakthrough procedure for Dr. Gujar and his fellow specialists at Eye Medical Center. It's always been very frustrating because all we've been able to do is preserve the amount of vision that they have not so much improve it. Um, and now it, this is a case where we're able to actually improve someone's vision. The implantable telescope costs $15,000. Both the device and the procedure are covered by most insurance plans and Medicare. Ed will have at least six months of occupational therapy, along with several prescription changes for glasses as his vision improves. Until one day soon, he can look at the faces of his loved ones again. In Fresno, Margot Kim, ABC 30 Action News. Well, that's remarkable. Macular degeneration affects almost 2 million Americans. 500,000 new cases are diagnosed every year. Patients are screened for a number of factors, including age, eye health, and vision level, before becoming candidates for that implant. We'll continue to follow Ed, and we'll let you know about his progress with his new telescopic eye.